Hello, uh, in today's tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate you how you can add tick marks in the graph that was prepared by Microsoft Excel. This is the graph. Uh, you can change the layout. I am selecting this layout and you can see that there is, uh, there are the uh, major grid lines along the horizontal axis. That means it indicates the Y axis. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to add some uh, the axis line for the data set. I'm also going to delete this. I'm, I'm, I'm working with this graph in Microsoft Word. You can also work this graph with Microsoft Excel. So uh, I'm going to select this, select this, select format, select black color. So uh, this left-hand side of the graph along with the values becomes prominent. In the similar manner, I'm going to add another line in the x-axis, the black line. And now I'm going to add some tick marks. To add some tick marks, select the whole graph, click on right button, select format data area. The vertical axis, select the vertical axis. Now click on the axis option. Select the tick mark. There is no tick mark. Select, uh, I'm going to select the outside. So the tick mark appears in the outside. In a similar manner, I am going to add the tick marks in this, in this horizontal axis. In a similar manner, select the options, axis options, select tick mark and tick mark outside. So that this is the tick mark that indicates the outside of this graph. In this way, you can add the tick marks in this graph using the Microsoft Word. I'm also going to demonstrate you how you can add these tick marks in the Microsoft Excel. Uh, this is the original graph that was prepared by Microsoft Excel. I'm going to remove these options. After selecting the y-axis, click on format, select the black line. I am going to select the black line here also. And I'm also going to add a black line here, in the horizontal rows. Now, click on the right button, select format data area, select the axis, select the axis option, select a tick mark, measure type, outside, and then your tick marks appears here also. In a similar manner, select a tick mark for the x-axis and the tick mark also appears in the x-axis. In this way, you can add the tick marks in the graph that is made in the Excel and also the graph that has been pasted or already present in the Microsoft Word. Okay, that's all. Thanks to all for watching.